Um, I'll do this na lang in English since we have guests, no? But um, the first time I came to La Rec, uh, Laverne is right, um, I was in a way saddened by the state the research center was at, no? And uh, they explained to me na in the last 30 years or so, yung marching orders sa kanila, well, they were told to save money. So, um, just so everybody knows, I'm a second generation farmer. Uh, we started heavily or, or large scale farming in 1989, 1990. Um, at the time when the sugar industry was down at rock bottom, it was the time when everybody told us that the industry was a dead industry. And uh, that's when we started. So we know how it works if it's really difficult. We know how to survive when the prices are really low. And uh, as Laverne said, I'm a mad scientist. Um, yes, it's true. Maybe it's it's brought about by boredom. When you live in the farm, you have nothing to do, uh, basically. So all the equipment that you have, what's running, you destroy. What's destroyed, you fix. So basically. And um, we tried our best to find better means and ways to do um, the normal farming practices. So we made our own implements, basically. The implements that work, we improved to a point when we does not work anymore, actually. But then, that's how we were brought up. So, I told the Vern in the beginning, um, we are government, and I strongly feel that the front runner and the number one agency or the number one authority when it comes to sugarcane research should be government. So I do not believe in, in, in what was happening in the 80s when SRA was uh, told to save money and um, private entities were pushed to do research. Um, I think it will be very funny to look at when the government agency is a, does a lot less work than the private sector. So I told the Vern, it's cheap to dream. Um, give me all your wildest ideas. We have a very hardworking sugar board. Um, the three members of the sugar board are all farmers, actually. Uh, Mamitsi represents the millers. She is a hands-on operations manager of a mill. She is also a part-time farmer, so she knows how it is. Um, the planter's representative, he is out of the country. Mr. Sanson is a full-time farmer. I am. I used to be a full-time farmer until, until April 2023 when I became administrator, so I had to become a part-time farmer. Uh, I have the best manager. It's my father is staying in the farm for me. So... That's it, no? So that's that's where we're coming from. So I'm sure the people in SRA will feel the change. I've always said this will be a time of change. This will be a time when farming will become more scientific. I know it is very expensive at the moment. Fuel, fertilizer, all inputs and labor are very high. Um, so it's a time to we are losing we are losing land area every year because of the development of the cities. We are losing it to real estate. I don't think we can fix that. But the only thing SRA, Laverne, and all our researchers can do is to improve yield per hectare. We make the most of, out of the little that we have. And uh, in 2023, we produced um, 1.799 million metric tons of sugar. The president asked us the first day we were in the we were appointed. Um, the president asked us a simple question: How can we improve production the quickest way possible? And as the farmers' representative at the time, I asked him, Mr. President, let's delay milling. Um, in the past, we were milling in October, and we let SRA let it go and allowed milling as early as first week of August. So everybody was milling nine, ten month old cane. And uh, for 2024, we delayed milling to September 1. Um, 
with God's help and with nature's help and with weather's help, we hit 1.922 million metric tons. Now we're plagued with uh, El Nino. We have a small problem with army worms in Negros. Um, we're on the job and the challenge to everybody is, I hope, I hope we make 1.9 again or maybe better. But the challenge to the whole research team is we will make SRA great again. That's the challenge the president gave me. He remembers before 1986 when the Philippines was a front runner in the sugar industry. He remembers how great this research station was. He remembers the time when we were teaching our Asian neighbors how to plant sugar cane. And that's where he wants us to lead. So, Thank you very much for the invite. Um, Mom Gina and the, uh, and the Bureau of Soils has helped us a lot. You should see their projects in La Granja. I was impressed with all the, the I can't remember the technical name. Yes, the soil samples. And that's the first time in my whole life that I've seen such a thing. Um, we have two ICP OES machines coming this month for SRA. Um, we intend to add two more. Um, we want an ICP machine in each major area. Actually, Larek handles Luzon and Mindanao. So it's, um, we, need, we want to fix that also. But we want key soil laboratories in the key areas, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So that's the challenge and that's the dream. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for all the help, ma'am. And for our farmers who are here, and, and MDOs, and all the people here, thank you very much for supporting the industry. Maraming salamat po, Sir Paul.